Okay, so this is the actual speed of generation. And we're getting more than 800 tokens per second, which is crazy. I haven't seen anything like this before. So since the release of Llama 3 earlier this morning, a lot of companies are integrating this into their platforms. The one I'm personally really excited about is Grok Cloud because they have the fastest inference speed that is currently possible on the market. Now they just integrated Llama 3 both into their playground as well as the API. So now you have both the 70 bill and 8 bill version available. I'll show you how to get started with it both in the playground as well as on the API if you're uh, building your own applications on top of it. So uh, we can select the Llama 3 model. So let's try start with uh, the 70 billion model. Now I'm going to be using this uh, prompt as a test prompt. We don't really care about how the responses are. In this uh, video, we only care about the speed of inference. Uh, so the prompt is, I have flask for two gallons and one for four gallons. How do I measure six gallons? And it probably has seen this prompt in its training data. Uh, here's the speed of inference, which was crazy fast. Uh, so it took about uh, half a second. And the speed of generation is around 300 tokens per second. And we are talking about the bigger sibling. So this is pretty great. Okay, now uh, let's test the same prompt on the 8 billion model. And let's see how the response is going to be. So this time it was about uh, 800 tokens per second. And it took a fraction of a, um, a second. So this is pretty great. Now let's see what happens if we actually ask it to uh, generate longer text, because as you, uh, as the model generates longer text, it's going to take more time. But let's see if it has any um, impact on the uh, number of tokens per second. So here we are asking it to write a 500 word essay on the importance of open source AI models. First, I'm going to use the 8 billion model. And here's an essay. Now, the number of tokens per second is pr pretty much the same. This is pretty impressive. Next, let's look at the 70 billion model. And after this, I'll show you how to use the API. So we're going to run this. Okay, this was real time speed. Um, it's definitely not 5,000 words, but probably somewhere around a couple of thousand words. Uh, but the speed of generation is pretty consistent. So this is awesome. Now you can also include a system message if you want. You usually want to use the playground to test the model as well as the prompts. And once you're happy with that and you want to integrate it as a part of your own applications, then you want to move on to Grok API so that you can start serving your users. Okay, so I put together this Google uh, notebook to just show you how to use Grok in your own applications through the Grok API. So first we need the Python client so we use pip install uh, grok to install that. Next, we need to provide our own API key. So uh, for that, go to the playground, click on API keys, then create a new API key. And here you can create a new API key. I already have existing API keys, so I'm going to be using those. And since I'm using uh, Google Colab, so I actually put my API key as a secret here and enabled access uh, of that specific key to this uh, notebook. So now we need to import uh, the Grok client. We will create the Grok client uh, using this Grok function uh, and we need to provide our API key. So since I am reading it directly from the uh, secrets within Google Colab notebook, so I'm using this uh, user data function within the Google Colab uh, API client. Okay, so this is how you set up the client, but let's see how you do inference. So it's pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, so we're going to be using the uh, chat completion endpoint. Here we are going to create a new message. Uh, so right now we're just using a role of user. So the user is asking a question and the prompt is explain the importance of low latency LLMs. Explain it in the voice of Jon Snow. Now you can also add a system message. Uh, later on, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, and then you need to provide the name of the model. Now, as of the recording of this video on uh, the documentation page, the supported models lists only the Llama 2 family, 
However, uh, Sandeep, who is the head of Gronk Cloud, was kind enough to point out to me that it's available. So in this case, I just uh, use that model, the Llama T70 build, and then uh, following the exact same uh, format, I provided the context length, and this seems to be working. Uh, probably by the time this video is re uh, released, they probably will have uh, updated the documentations. So let me show you the actual speed of inference, which is pretty crazy. So I'm going to be running this. It will uh, create this message, send it to the API, get a response, and then Python is going to print it here. But here's the actual uh, speed of generation that we get. So you can see it's, I think, under a second. Pretty crazy that you can do this uh, with an API, and we are running a 70 billion model. All right, next, uh, let's see how you add a system message. So here I'm adding a system message to the message flow. Uh, the role is system. And we're saying you are a helpful assistant, answer as John Snow. So the rest of the prompt is exactly the same as what we did before. And we are selecting Lama 3 as a model. Now you can also pass on some extra parameters. For example, you can set the temperature, which will control the creativity or the selection of different tokens. Uh, and you need to also, or you can um, also pass on max tokens that the model can generate. These are optional parameters. Now with that system role, here's the actual speed of generation. Again, pr this is pretty fast. Um, usually you want to add streaming so that the user uh, is not just waiting for the response, but uh, Grok has figured out how to do really insanely fast inference. Okay, but if you want to do streaming, it's actually also possible here. Uh, so the uh, structure is the same as before. The only thing that you need to do additionally is to enable streaming by uh, setting stream to true. In this case, we are creating a streaming client. Now, when you are streaming, then you're going to be getting a chunk of text one at a time. So we're basically uh, getting that chunk of text, printing it to the output and then waiting for another uh, chunk of text to arrive, showing that again, and so on and so forth. So here's the actual uh, streaming speed. Let me run that again. Okay, so this is pretty fast, and I think uh, we all know that Gronk is known for this, uh, but this is probably the fastest Lama 3 uh, inference that is currently available on the market. Okay, so a couple of other things. Uh, both the Playground as well as the API is currently uh, available for free. So you can use this in a, your applications uh, for absolutely free. They will probably introduce a paid version pretty soon. Uh, but uh, since it's free, there are rate limits on the number of tokens it can generate. So make sure to look at this. Okay, so I'll be uh, creating a lot more content both around uh, Llama 3 as well as Grok. So if you're interested, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I think they are also working on uh, integrating support for Whisper on Grok. Uh, when that is implemented, I think that will open up uh, the possibility of a whole new generation of applications. So I'm actually really looking forward to that. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.